In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to stop Minecraft from repeatedly crashing in the Minecraft launcher. Now first, what you're going to want to do is actually try to see if it crashes multiple times and is not just a one-off. So obviously, close the Minecraft launcher and open it back up again and press on play. Now obviously, this may be for one version not working, so if you actually really wanted to, you could try another version. Like for me, 1.18.1 keeps on crashing, but 1.8 works. So just test that out if you actually don't mind playing on a different version. But obviously, you probably want to play on this specific version, so I'm going to teach you how. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually restart your computer, since that is the most common fix for this problem. So just simply go to the Windows tab and press restart on your computer, and hopefully this will fix most of your guys' problems. But if it doesn't, don't worry, because I got four more other options for you guys. So uh, let's get into the rest of them. Now the second option is to actually repair your launcher in the settings. Now to do this, go in the search bar and search up apps and features. Now once you're actually in that, in the settings tab, you should see this page. Once you're on this page, search in the list Minecraft. Now you're going to have to pick the right Minecraft here, which is the grey background launcher with the grass block on it, which looks like this. And it should also say Minecraft Launcher from Microsoft Studios. Once you're here, click on it, and then scroll down and you'll see Advanced Options. Once you're here, click on Advanced Options and you will see a bunch of different options. Now what you're going to want to do is scroll down until you see Reset. Once you see reset, you will see two buttons, repair and reset. What you're going to want to do is click on repair. Repair won't affect anything, but it probably will fix the launcher. But if you actually really need to, then press reset. But beware that the app's data will be deleted. Now I'm not sure what extent it will actually delete, but I would recommend backing up your worlds and do that as the last option once you go through every other option in this list. But obviously, just make backups right before that, but beware that that is a last resort option. So, uh, let's go into another option if this does not work for you. But obviously, just try to click on repair first, it'll load for a little bit and then give you a check mark. And then refresh the launcher to see if that works before going to the next step. Now, the next step is to actually update your drivers. Now, for me, I have a GeForce RTX a GPU. So I'm going to have to go to the GeForce Experience application to update my drivers. So it may be different depending on what GPU you guys actually have. So what I'm going to want to do is go to the GeForce Experience just like so. Now once I'm here, as you can see, it says Home and Drivers. Now you'll start off on the home page, but I have clicked on Drivers. Now once I'm here, it will show me a list of available drivers, and you're going to want to install the latest one. Now for me, I have already installed it, but you'll see an install button at the top right, right over here. Then I'll see an installation. Now obviously, if you need to update, then it will show update here. Otherwise, it will show this. So just obviously click on check for updates as well to see if there's any new updates that are needed. But obviously, remember to check the latest version and you should be fine. Now reload the Minecraft launcher and try it once again. Now, if this doesn't work, I would recommend updating the launcher. Now, to update the launcher, since it has been moved over to the newest launcher, which is a Microsoft Store, what you're going to want to do is head over to the Microsoft Store. So, once you're here, go in the search bar and type in Minecraft. And you should see Minecraft for Windows plus Launcher. Now, once you're here, you're going to want to click on Play. But obviously, it should not say play here, it should say update if you need an update. So obviously, click on the update button if there is an update button. Otherwise, it should say play and then you can try it from there. But obviously, if there's no update button here, then this is not the solution for you. But you can also find this in the library tab and search through your games to find Minecraft for Windows plus Launcher. But make sure this is all up to date, and if it is, then that is not the solution for you. Another option is to actually stop overclocking your PC. Sometimes overclocking may affect a Minecraft launcher and allow you to not play the game. So obviously, try to stop overclocking to make sure that it works. But after that, if none of these have currently worked for you, then what you're going to want to do 
is go back to the settings for the Minecraft launcher and actually click on uninstall. Or you could also go to the Microsoft Store and then uninstall it from here. Now obviously this is once again a last resort option like the reset button. This will obviously delete all the data from it and you will have to reinstall it as well. Making it take a long time to actually be able to play the game. Probably a option is to uninstall the Minecraft launcher. Now remember that this is a last resort option. But to do this, what you're going to want to do is go back to the settings to the Minecraft launcher all the way over here, then go to advanced settings and you should see this. Now to do this, what you're going to want to do is go back to apps and features, search up Minecraft once more, go to the gray background with the dirt block and click on advanced options. Now once you're here, scroll all the way down until you see uninstall and just click on uninstall. Now, obviously, you will install the app and its settings, so be aware about that. But you could also uninstall it via the Microsoft Store, and you can just uninstall it like this. But then you're gonna have to reinstall it. Now, this will most likely work for all of this, but obviously, it is a last resort option because you have to delete it and reinstall it once again, which takes a considerable amount of time. So once again, I would only recommend that as a last resort option, and I wouldn't really do it, otherwise, none of these solutions have currently worked. Now I'm going to actually show you an option for if you actually can get inside of Minecraft in the game, but is crashing whilst you're playing the game. So obviously, load up Minecraft and make sure that you are in the Minecraft game. Once you're actually inside the game, what you're going to want to do is go to Options by pressing Escape, then click on it, and then go to Video Settings. Once you're in Video Settings, you're going to want to go to Use VBO and turn that to Off. Normally it would be on, but if you turn it to Off, it will actually stop a lot of crashing. Now this may say it might be faster, but obviously it causes crashes, which may affect your game. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, or I actually helped you in some specific way. Remember to like and comment down below, and if you actually have another way of doing this that I don't mention in this video that worked for you, remember to comment it down below, since I think a ton of people would appreciate it, and I will actually heart slash pin any ones that I think is really good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I also have an Instagram and a TikTok, which I'm gonna try to post more on. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.